What's going on everybody? It's me, Kenneth, with North Texas Barbecue Addicts, and in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make next level surf and turf. I've got a wild caught tuna steak and a 100% Wagyu New York strip steak. Both of those are from Six Brothers Beef Company. I'll have their information down below in the description box. This turned out awesome, y'all. If you want to know how to change up your surf and turf menu, this is the way to do it. Quick, easy, but really amazing. So if that sounds good to you, y'all stick around. All right, y'all, so we've got the New York strip right here. You can see that nice marbling from the American Wagyu. This is 100% Wagyu right here. And then we've got some wild-caught tuna steaks right here. And I trimmed off a little bit of the fat from the Wagyu right there. We're going to use that on the flat top for our oil. And that's just going to put a nice flavor um, to start with. So we're going to cook with some SPG. We're going to use that on both the tuna steak and the New York strip here. I mean, after all, when you've got some really good stuff, you really don't need anything insane when you're flavoring stuff. You can get out of hand and use all different kinds of stuff, like you've seen me use the lemon pepper garlic. Um, we almost used some jalapeno seasoning, but at the end of the day, we decided to just stick with SPG, and I think it'll be awesome. So let's get this flipped over. Get that guy flipped over also, and we're going to re-season this side. This is going to be a really quick cook, so... If you're looking to cook up something really nice for dinner and uh, or a lunch and you don't have a ton of time, this is a good go-to right here. So we're going to get that SPG on both sides. And I'm not really going to worry about the actual sides of each cut of meat because I really want to taste that beef also. So I'm just going to season the outside parts and not the edges here if that makes sense. So we're going to let that set in for about five minutes and then we're going to sear it up on the flat top. All right, y'all, so the key to this quick cook is a really hot surface, and uh, you can guess and see if it's hot just by kind of putting your hand here and seeing what it feels like on your hand, and you can kind of figure out if it's hot enough. Or if you don't want to guess, you can use a thermometer like this to read the radiating temperature right here. Let's see what we're at. It says we're right above 500 right there right around 500 right there this is going to be good it's not going to take long at all but first off we got to use that trimmed fat from our wagyu steak to oil up the area where we're going to be cooking so let me snag that real quick so you can use your steak trimmings if you see a little chunk of fat that you don't really like or don't really want on your steak this is a perfect way to use that without throwing it away or you can just use some oil of course as well this is going to put some nice beefy flavor into our flat top here right before we start cooking so we're just oiling up the area that we're going to be using for our New York strip and our tuna steak. Let me go ahead and get this oiled up and we'll get to cooking. Alright y'all we're sizzling. We got some nice oil right there in our cooking space. Go ahead and set that off to the side there. We're going to start out with our New York strip Neither of these are going to take long to cook at all, but this one's going to take the longest in between this tuna steak and this uh, New York strip. So put that right there on the flat top and push it down. Make sure you get good contact all around. That's going to help ensure that we get a good crust. So I'm going to let this go for, I'd say about 45 seconds, maybe a minute, and then we'll give it a flip. I'll catch back with you all at that point. All right, so we've been going for about a minute now. I'm gonna go ahead and get our edges here. Man, that is smelling good. Let's go ahead and put our tuna steak on right into that rendered beef fat. Can't think of a better way to do it. All right, got that nice caramelization and rendering of that fat cap right there on our strip. There we go. Y'all have seen me cook tuna steaks before. We're looking for the edges to start becoming white. And when it gets to about a quarter of the way on this side, we're going to give it a flip. Which is why I started this a little bit later on into the steak cook. Because this guy is going to cook a lot quicker than this steak. The steak's getting close also. So I'd say, let's go ahead and flip this guy over. Nice sear right there. Check that out. Beautiful. We're going to let that go for about 45 more seconds on this side. And then this steak will be done also, and we're going to let it all rest, and uh, the best part's coming up. It's taste test time. All 
All right, y'all. So that only took about two and a half minutes total, maybe three minutes to cook up that beautiful Wagyu New York strip. Plenty of juice. Beautiful sear that we got there. Oh, man, this is looking awesome. I just pulled these off. Look at that tuna steak looking beautiful. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this rest for about two or three minutes, and I'll bring you all back, and we're going to just let all those juices redistribute into our steak, and uh, we're about to enjoy us some next level surf and turf. So y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all, we're back. It's time to slice into this. It smells insane. Remember, we use that Wagyu fat to oil our flat top to get our cook started. So smelled great from the start. I'm looking for like a medium rare to very rare finish, and that's perfect for me. Check that out. Beautiful marbling. Like I said, this is a quick cook, so a couple things important to have for quick cooks is one of these guys right here. I'll have the information down below in the description box. You can see it's Eric Hill. I have that down below in the description box so you can see the temperature and everything and you're not guessing. Or you can try and guess if you'd like and then get you some tongs and really all you need is some salt, pepper, garlic. Check that out. Let's cut into this and see how that inside looks. This is some next level surf and turf. Turn that guy around here, slice right down the middle. Oh, I can already tell it's cooked perfect for me. Let's see how we did. That is a win every single time. All right, let me set this guy aside. Let me set this guy aside. We're over at my friend Blake's house, so we're gonna be sharing some of this good grub today. Let's go ahead and get us some slices out of here. Try not to be all up in your way. Move my forearm and stuff. There we go. Oh yeah. It is cutting like butter, guys. Beautiful pink inside. Everybody knows how they like their tuna, but this is exactly how I like mine. All right, let's go ahead and get a couple cuts of this steak here. That fat is rendered perfectly. Y'all saw that, I can't make that up. That literally just slid right through. That knife didn't have any effort at all. All right, I'm gonna turn this guy around and we gotta give this a try. This looks too good, y'all. Man, oh man, wild caught tuna steaks cooked perfectly, 100% Wagyu steak, cooked perfectly on the flat top. Y'all saw it was done here. Awesome quick lunch today. You can do this for dinner obviously, but if you're in a time crunch and you want to cook something really flavorful that'll impress people, this is the one. All right, enough talk. Let's see how we did. Let's give it a try. First off, we're going to try this. 100% Wagyu. Look at that. So tender, so juicy. Look at the marbling going through it. 100% Wagyu New York strip steak. Let's see how we did. Cheers, y'all. Hmm. Mm. That is so good. Mm. That salt, pepper, garlic really accents that awesome beefiness from that Wagyu. Again, you can cook it and season it however you'd like, but salt, pepper, garlic really just allows you to taste that protein that you're cooking and just elevate it a little bit just with those simple ingredients. I'm excited about this wild caught tuna steak. Let's see how we did on that. We've got a beautiful sear on the outside, nice raw inside, exactly how I like it. If you want to cook it a little bit longer for your taste, there's nothing wrong with that. If food's about how you like it, cook it how you want. Let's see how we did. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. This tuna steak, guys, insane. Again, salt, pepper, garlic, all we did. Look how tender that is. Mm -hmm. This is some of my favorite stuff from Six Brothers Beef Company. I'll have their information down below in the description box. Appreciate y'all for hanging out on this quick cook today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment, hit that notification button, and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, peace! Y'all keep on barbecuing. Try some different ways to make surf and turf. Later, y'all.